Hey, what's up guys? Hey, got the battle rifle BR-308, 12 and a half inch. Uh, of course, you got three and a half inch, four chamber, stainless steel, Cerakoted muzzle brake. It is pinned and welded. Uh, sporting the EOTech XPS and the G33 magnifier. So, see how it shoots. Oh yeah, of course, you can't, probably can't see, but that's a JP Enterprises low mass bolt carrier group. And again, that came with the rifle. It was built with the rifle. primer I guess what I get for using Russian ammo all right gonna try the uh, 22 3 22 drill and really this uh, recoil is not too bad on this uh, short barreled uh, 308 put my glasses on sunny as hell out here Oh, so good. All right, well, last drill's good. Rifle feel good. Everything's solid. So, shoot some more. <laughs> don't need my eyes. No, I don't want them. Should have brought my damn clear glasses. JP, low mass bolt carrier group. I believe the barrel is a uh, black hole weaponry. Whatever. No, it's black hole. Good. All right. Uh, the ammo we were shooting. Uh, I first uh, see the first take on the video was Lake City. I think the last two takes were uh, ZQI, which is fucking phenomenal ammunition. And this is some battle rifle company ammo shot out of a battle rifle company BR three eight. So let's see how good their uh, three hundred eight ammo is. Not too sure about it. First 
some uh, been shoot, have shot the Remo. Seems decent. They use Lake City brass. I think 147, 149 grain bullets. So I think they load it to NATO specifications. So let's see. I sure hope so. I sure hope they don't fucking load the 308 specifications. That could be no good. Yeah, for all you don't know, uh, 308's more powerful than 762 by 51. Opposite of 556. Light work. All right. Fuck the cord. All right. been moving and shooting on this one so sorry if you don't see me in the first part of the film I don't have a cameraman and I'm using a cell phone for a camera which is a good camera it's a 4k camera so we're good but you know I ain't got that new shit where you can wear wristband and follow you so if you hear it popping and you see dirt flying it's me What's up, YouTube? Uh, from my followers who uh, I guess still look at my channel, I don't I don't have a shitload. Uh, I think I have like 800 or something, which is better than my first channel I had. But uh, I just give a quick rundown on the rifle, which I should have done before shoot, but uh, unfortunately I didn't. So I uh, go ahead and do it now. Uh, again, uh, this is a Battle Rifle Company BR 308, very low serial number. They don't build these for civilians usually. Uh, I guess I got lucky. Uh, Battle Rifle Company is good family friends of mine for many years. And uh, I get good deals and they build quality stuff. Uh, of course, you've heard of my videos before. They've had shit in the past. You know, they came up from uh, nothing. Uh, I'm in a garage. You know, they've learned from their mistakes. And they've gotten good. You know, they have good people, you know, building the rifles and uh, taking charge and... Uh, getting the proper shit out there to uh, operators, civilians, and you know, people who enjoy weapons, a uh, quality product. So I hope you guys at least give them a chance. But again, this is a Battle Rifle Company BR-308. Don't know if you can see the, the logo or not, probably not. But it's right there, the uh, two cross muskets and the star. And uh, again, this low serial number. Uh, these are a billet upper and lower receivers. Uh, I believe Battle Rifle Company has them made by Sun Devil, uh, which is a uh, good company. A lot of people use Sun Devil. They're out of Arizona. They have uh, phenomenal upper, upper and lower receivers. Uh, again, both billet. Um, the parts kits they use are uh, uh, what's the word for them? They're not they're not MIM. They're not metal injection molded. They're um, machined. So another plus uh, the triggers they uh, have these triggers sent off well the whole trigger system sent off to fell zero to be uh, nickel boron coated by them uh, the barrel is a uh, black hole weaponry like I believe I mentioned that earlier 12 and a half inch uh, the rail is a uh, Odin works 
308 rifle rail. Uh, only difference I see really is that in the uh, Odin Works, you can see right under the uh, top Picatinny rail, you can see those vent holes, which uh, help get some of that heat pulled up underneath that rail and help cool off that gas tube. Um, on these rifle, on all the 308s, they uh, they're using the Odin Works adjustable gas block. A good gas block, like a hundred dollar gas block good quality rifle so you know Odin works a key mod rail 70 75 t6 uh, Odin works adjustable gas block I believe it is made of aluminum too or maybe steel but I know it's adjustable uh, Odin works hand stop here 70 75 t6 recently introduced I believe at SHOT Show 2015 uh, Odin works uh, key mod light mount I wish I could say it was an own works light, <laughs> but it's not. It's a surefire, uh, good light. This is the uh, P2X Fury Defender. Uh, it's a little fucking serrations up here, a pain compliance or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, practically, you wouldn't use it for that. So, but yeah. Uh, yeah, good light, 600. No, I believe it's 700 lumens. Could be six, but I believe it's 700. Again, muzzle brake, three and a half inch, um, stainless steel, and from my knowledge, it's the same stainless steel as they use the barrels, uh, 416R, 417R, somewhere like that. But stainless steel, machined extremely tight tolerances. Um, talked to the master smith there, he's a good buddy of mine too, and he says that he designed it because he wanted them, you know, a lot of muzzle brakes are, you know, they work, but the tolerances aren't tight, so there's a gap between the you know bullet exiting the brake and there's still a a gapped ring around the bullet so gas to still escape and it uh doesn't have as much effect in taking away the recoil as it should so this is such a tight tolerance is you probably have the bullet so close to the brake it's you know ridiculous but i mean the son of a bitch feels i mean it, it it's a little more in 5.56, but it probably it feels like I'm shooting a, my, my 6.5, 6.8, something like that. So that's what it feels like I'm shooting. Uh, this uh, bulk hair group, JP Enterprises uh, LMOS, LM, yeah, LMOS, low mask, uh, bulk hair system, uh, good bulk hair system. If you know the price, they're like fucking five, five fifty for the things. Um, all their rifles comes with the uh, RBS fab defense sights, flip up sights, good sights. Raptor charging handle. EOTech XPS G33 magnifier, Magpul stock, good stock. This is CTR stock. One that. They don't have the wobble like the Mo. You know, 7075 buffer, coated springs, you know, everything. Good shit. Magpul. Uh, I believe this is the Mo grip. So, yeah, just want to give you guys a quick rundown of it. And I'm using the uh, Gen 3 25 rounders with the fucking Ranger, Ranger LSR tab. I believe that's what it is. But yeah, 25 round mags for this. Awesome. Work great. Oh, get back to shooting. Just want to give you a quick review of it. All right, guys, do uh, one more 22-3-22 drill. Uh, go over some of the ammo I've been using. I'm a cheap ass. <laughs> My ammo is already cheap, but why not go cheaper, right? Which is always a good thing. But Monarch steel case. I'm using the Glock. Shit works, right? Like I said, ZQI Samsung to by 51 NATO. And of course, I've been us. I'm about to shoot this. That's one reason I'm doing this. This is the uh, Perfecta 147 grain FMJ made in Italia. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and from my research, Perfecta is made by Fiocchi. So it's probably good shit. So here we go. Man, that fucking charger handle is like what? That's all right though. That ain't mine. Fucking son.
have a problem with the perfecta guys. See what we got here. Never had that problem before. So y'all beware. Perfecta. Right here. No bueno. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this uh perfecta again. You notice last round I cut it short. Some of a bitch uh didn't want to work. What it was is case, I don't know if it's at low power or what, but uh failure to eject and then the case sitting on top of the upper receiver and another one wanted to go in, so he had a fucking sandwich in there. So try skin. Well, had a problem with that mag too. So yeah, uh, I won't be buying that uh, Perfecta anytime soon. Kind of pissed off I bought 200 rounds of it. So yeah. All right, guys, try this one more time. Still Perfecta ammo. Uh, kind of regret. Wish I would have brought all the ZQI ammo. But uh, you see. Out runs. Uh, I put some lube in the bulk carrier, some of this hops elite. So that might be the problem. I put a little bit of oil when it left, but I didn't fucking drown it in it. So see if drowning it helps. Then again, you know, shouldn't be doing that. I know it ain't the rifle because I never had no problems like that with Battle Rifle Company's product. Pro Perfecta, probably Fioki's rejected ammo. Well, that time seemed to work better. So, hey, this Monarch ammo is good, cheap, but downside definitely is. Uh, I think I had four, uh, no, no goes on it. Uh, the uh, primer struck the round, just didn't go off. 
which I mean maybe ain't bad. I, I had a four out of 150 rounds, but still it's more than I want. One would be understandable, but and then again it's this Russian cheap Monarch Academy House brand, so you know nine dollars a box. That's what you get. So I don't know. Usually I shoot the Winchester range ammo. That's always been good ammo for me. So other than that, a decent ammo. Perfecta, nah, not so good. I I, I wouldn't trust it, guys. I mean, maybe you'll have better results in a bolt gun, maybe. I mean, jamming, not really an issue for you bolt guys. Uh, maybe for y'all who are shooting, you know, a 308 with a long 20 inch or more barrel, slowly, that might be good ammo for you, I don't know. But, uh, wasn't too good for me. Now, the ZQI, the Turkish ammo, is fucking phenomenal. Some of the best ammo I've ever shot is that Turkish ammo. So, fucking Muslims, good job on that ammo. But, uh, but yeah, man. That's the video for y'all. 21, almost 22 minutes long. So, I'll go ahead and cut it off. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Long ass video. I'm trying to put more videos out. I had a long gap there. So, uh, 762 by 39, Kluskov. Y'all have a good day, guys.